Hello, welcome to our channel today I will explain episode 1 and 2 of the Thai drama called Bad Genius, spoilers ahead, watch out and stay safe. The first scene shows us the final round of a middle school scrabble competition. A girl named Lin is competing against Soros from a rival school. Lin's father, Mr. Viet, and the principal of a prestigious school were also in the audience watching the match. The principal promised to accept Lin into his school with a full scholarship if she won the match. His opponent, Soros, seemed to be in trouble in the final round so he deliberately dropped an eraser. His mentor picked it up and returned it to him. Lin noticed that the man replaced the eraser with one that had the answer written on it. She discovered Soros cheating and discreetly called him out, but did not tell the jury. For her last words, she writes cheater and wins the match. The crowd applauded and cheered, and Lin received an honorary certificate. That night, during dinner, her father, Viet, asked her if she liked her new school. Lin is proud of the school's computers, air-conditioned rooms and library. She added that her favorite place is the music room with a grand piano that she can play during lunch. Viet asked her if she made friends. Lin awkwardly replied that she did. One day, while playing the piano at school, Lin was approached by a classmate named Grace. She asked Lin to help her practice a song for the school play. Lin played the piano while Grace sang, but they stopped when Grace lost her key in some parts. She is sad that she may not get a role in the play and says that her dream is to act in it. Lin then asked him to listen carefully to the keys and follow them. After a bit of practice, Grace got the right key and was very happy. Before Lin left, Grace asked him to wait for her outside the music room so they could meet after her audition. The audition is going very well, but Grace walked out of the room with tears in her eyes. It turns out that according to the new rules, students who want to participate in the school play must have a GPA above 3. 25. When Grace complained that she had never had such a high GPA, Lin offered to tutor her. The next days, they studied together at the library. Their math teacher, Sapan, teaches students outside of school hours. One day, Grace, who was also taking private lessons, brought a sample questionnaire provided by Sapan. Lin found that these questions were more difficult than the questions he taught in class, but he still practiced them. A few weeks later, they took a midterm math test. During the first few minutes, Lin answered all the questions without difficulty. But then she noticed that most of the questions were similar to Grace's practice questions. It became clear to Lin that Sapan had been asking test questions to students who paid him to coach outside of school. She wrote all the answers on an eraser, put it in her shoe, and put it back on Grace's desk. Grace received the answers and copied them all. When the results came in, Grace was delighted to have achieved the highest score she had ever achieved. But when the girls got the same score, Sofane became suspicious of them. He warns the girls to be careful, because if he finds out they are cheating, he will not be gentle with them. After leaving, Grace invites Lin to dinner at her boyfriend Pat's house. In the evening, they will meet Pat at a luxury restaurant right next to his apartment. Turns out he was a lazy rich kid with bad grades. After treating the girls to dinner, he asks Lin to help him take the test. Just like she did with Grace, the girls were surprised when Pat offered Lin a lot of money to help her. His father had promised to buy him a sports car if he did not fail, so he desperately needed his help. However, Lin didn't want to risk being caught so she declined the offer. In the evening she went home to her father, Veet, who was eating noodles. Lin asked him to pay more attention to his diet and went to his room. Moments later, she heard him talking about the loan with someone on the phone. Lin confronts him about this and discovers that he borrowed money from his brother to pay for Lin's college tuition. The principal promised her a full scholarship if she won the Scrabble contest, but due to budget issues, Lin and a guy from her school had to split the scholarship in half, meaning they still had to pay half tuition fee per semester. Lin knew her father couldn't afford that price and said she would return the new product to him. Now, to receive a full scholarship, Lin will have to compete with the other guy and prove that he is better. The next day, at school, Lin saw a child trying to hang a balloon from the ceiling. She tries to help him, but can't. Just then a guy named Bank comes and helps them. The children called them a cute couple, which confused them both. After the kid leaves, Lin shows up and discovers that Bank is actually the guy she was sharing her wallet with. She asked him if they were still friends, but Bank turned her down, saying they were rivals. In the next scene, Lin returns to Pat's apartment complex to pay for her father's loans and her tuition fee. She finally agrees to help him and Grace cheat in the exam. Her condition is that the couple will only get three-fourths of the answers, so their teacher won't suspect them. Pat accepts the deal. 
The following scene is their final exam of the first semester, and Lynn has to help both Grace and Pat. Alongside completing the like earlier, she starts writing on an eraser, but stops when Sapan walks towards her. He keeps an eye on her throughout the exam and eventually notices her writing on the eraser. The man snatches the eraser and is surprised to see. You're slipping exam papers to students, written on it. He realizes she knows his secret and tries to reason with her, but Lin hands him her answer sheet and walks out of the classroom. Sapan asks the others to continue and follows Lin. Lin remains adamant about telling the principal. As Sapan tries to convince her otherwise, he even threatens to tell the principal that she let Grace cheat from her paper. But Lin fires back, saying that Grace got good grades because of his tuition classes. As she walks away, Sapan notices her hand is inside her pocket and asks her if she is recording their conversation. When she brings her phone out, it is revealed she has been on a call with the principal this whole time. A distressed Sapan heads back to the classroom as the students get out. Grace and Pat thank Lin as everything went according to their plan. It turns out that they had planned the whole scenario beforehand. Because of Sapan's tuition papers, Lin could complete her paper in just a few minutes. She also marked the answers on her question paper and asked Grace to exchange it with hers while she distracts Sapan. After that, Grace wrote the answers on an eraser and gave them to Pat and all three of them did great on the exam. Moreover, Lin had changed Pat's name on her phone to the principal's. That way, she wouldn't get Sapan kicked out, but still intimidate him. However, later at night, she gets numerous messages on a group chat saying that Sapan Sofan has been fired from the school. Lin rushes to Pat's apartment again and asks him how did the principal know. Pat replies that he had recorded the phone call and sent it to the real principal because he believed Sofan could create trouble for them in the future. Lin isn't happy about the move, but dismisses the matter. The next day at school, she again meets the same kid and finds out he is Sofan's son who has been kicked out of the school because of his father's deeds. Lin guiltily watches them go down the elevator. In the following scene, we are taken to Banks' laundry shop. He lives with his single mother, who is obsessed with lottery tickets. She has severe back problems, but because of their financial condition, they cannot afford to get it treated. Later in school, Bank and Lin are called by the principal because she wants them to take part in a TV show quiz competition. Neither of them are willing to partner up, but the principal convinces them by declaring that this competition will decide who is going to get the next term scholarship among the two. Hence, even if they are partnered, the one who gives the most answers will get the scholarship. The very next day, they are on the set of the reality show. The quiz starts, and Bank gives the first right answer, followed by Lin. The duo leads by two points but is soon overtaken when Bank hastily says the wrong answer. Lin suggests that he think and discuss with her before throwing random answers. If they go against each other, they might lose the quiz. So, for the last question, they discuss the answer. The other team answers first, but gets the answer wrong. At last, Lin cites the right one and wins the competition. The following day, they are at the principal's office, where she tells them that Lin has won a full scholarship. She asks Bank to apply for a scholarship again next semester, and dismisses them. After the meeting, Lin tries to comfort Bank, but he ignores her. Later, we see him take his mother to a government hospital, where they have to wait for hours for her turn. He also tells her that he didn't get the scholarship, but the mother quickly hides her disappointment, and assures him she will collect the money before the next semester. One day at school, Pat calls Lin into the computer lab, and asks her if she will stop helping him cheat, now that she doesn't have to pay for tuition. He laughs at her when the girl says she doesn't need his money anymore. According to Pat, the school will still take fees for extracurricular activities that she probably doesn't know about. Lin doesn't react, but realizes he might be telling the truth. So, when she returns home, she goes through her father's drawer, and sees that he has paid the school a total of $200,000 baht, as a maintenance fee. This makes her realize that full scholarship is just a publicity stunt for the school, and they still make money from all their students. Lin quickly calls Pat, and asks if there are more people willing to pay her, like him. The following day, Pat arranges a meeting with Lin, Grace, and his rich friends, who all need Lin's help. She asks all of them for $30,000 baht, to help them cheat for one semester. They will have to pay Pat, who will in turn, give the money to Lin. So there is there's no proof of payment, but since there are many people, passing answers on erasers would be too risky. Hence, Lin comes out with another plan. She remembered that there was a clock on the front wall, visible to everyone. 
She said that the minute hand on the wall was the number of the question they were answering. Likewise, because the questions are multiple choice, you will have four options. The second hand on the clock will be the answer. So, if the answer is A, Lin will raise her hand when the second hand reaches a letter. If the answer is B, she raises her hand when she reaches number 2, and so on. The test will last 2 hours and have a total of 60 questions, meaning Lin will have to complete her test in 1 hour and spend the next hour helping others. The test went exactly as they planned, but halfway through, Bank, who was sitting right next to Lin, asked him not to move too much because he couldn't concentrate. Suddenly he dropped a piece of paper on the floor and the teacher saw it. She took the paper from him, thinking he was a cheater, but it turned out to be his laundry list of customer addresses. She then asked him to take everything out of his bag, but a tired Bank accidentally vomited on his paper. Everyone in class laughed at him as he rushed into the bathroom. In the evening, Lin went to Bank's house and told him that she no longer needed the wallet, so she returned it to him. A surprised Bank employee asked her why, but Lin hid the fact that she made enough money to help her friends cheat. Instead, she said her father won the lottery. The Bank happily offers to do your laundry for free as a thank you gift. He then went with her to take her home by bus. The episode ends with him saying he wants to be friends with Lin. Subscribe for more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like to help the channel. Thanks for watching.